<clears throat> okay, it's January 28th, Eastern Standard Time, Tuesday, 2020. This is directly to Dan. Okay, Dan, um, first of all, I didn't say you were the market manipulator. But, uh, maybe you don't know. Uh, I made a video to explain just exactly who I was. Okay, in, in finance, okay, if you look, the, the actually Forbes 500 wants me to write for their magazine, okay, and the guy's been persistent, but I've been really busy. Uh, since since I, I, I do have a, 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 a high stake clientele, I have a lot of free time that I decided to trade crypto just to see what it's like. It's new, it's innovative, that's that's me. Right now I'm uh, going to be developing, working with developing driverless cars, automatic cars, with Op Optimus Ride. That's in a battle. My company is JPR uh, Consulting Inc. I've been on Dun & Bradstreet with no complaints from any of my clients. So don't bother trying to enter a complaint because if you're not a client, it's not going to go through. I've been on there for 20 years. My friends, some of them, Jackie Mazzelli is the Chief Operating Officer of Citibank congratulating me. You can go look on my LinkedIn profile. Natalia Pikas, Vice President of Private Banking. I worked with her for a couple of years. She was congratulating me. So to say I'm an average guy, uh, I, I would I would say I would have a, a, a more marketable uh, an experience in any financial subject than you, Dan. All right. If you read my resume, I've been offered a job from the New York Taxi and Limousine Commission because they need a consultant in there to help them. Plus, they're doubling the size of the office, troll offices and everything. So I'll be working there next, within the next couple of months. So that's my next contract. What I'm trying to tell you, Dan, is I, I don't know. Maybe uh, I'm too forceful. Sometimes I think I'm not. I'm trying to get through. You seem like a nice guy. You seem easygoing. Now, you work for the Litecoin Foundation. And I see you putting up, even if it's involuntary, you're on you're on the foundation. You are telling investors, you're a very popular YouTuber that Litecoin is either gonna go up on the thumbnail, you say you stated right there, I have copies of those uh, thumbnails, and it's in the text of your videos that Litecoin's going to a thousand dollars by two thousand nineteen. Now I question you, how do you get that when the coin was in decline since June twelfth then? What you, you didn't you didn't respond, okay? Now I have another lawyer, his name is Jonathan Mitchell. You might have seen him replying in the videos. He went as far he went to look for you at the Litecoin Summit, which you were interviewing Charlie Lee. He went he was looking for you and Charlie Lee. Okay? His name is Jonathan Mitchell. He he works for international whistleblowers. So I'm here trying to warn you to get out, to leave, to duck. Stop, just stop talking about Litecoin, because now I don't hear nothing from him anymore. He's got what he's needed. He went, if you don't believe me, you go to David Schwartz, and you ask him, because that's who he went up to, plus a few others. Even talk to your creative director, okay? He has nothing to do with it, all right? Now, I get a phone call from... Bowstring Capital. You, you you might not you might want to look them up. Okay, they got a bunch of complaints about people like you, and they asked me to investigate you. And I said, yeah, uh, yes, uh, uh, I'll investigate you for a fee. I investigated this. Okay, what did I find out then? Is that I I had no idea that you were involved with the Litecoin Foundation. And what attracted my attention is that you're bringing up. Uh, on your thumbnails, Litecoin's going to go to a thousand dollars. Well, let me just see exactly what he's talking about. I knew it wasn't going to go to a thousand dollars, and anybody uh, in their right mind knew it was going to go a thousand dollars. But you persisted. 
not only did you put up one Vizio 2019, you put another one for 2020 and 2021. So that, knowing my experience, experience that's a marketing uh, technique. It's called saturation. I, under, I understand that. So you're saturating that there's a real good deal if you buy this coin now. Within this year or that year or the next year after, you're going to come back with $1,000. So that led me to, let's take a look at Dan. I said, oh, well, I don't think there's really nothing here. He's just speculating. Until I looked on the Litecoin Foundation number and I seen your picture there. Now I question you about that. And what did you say, Dan? Tell the truth. You told me, and I have the video. I will put it up where your comments are shown that nobody's going to listen to me. Nobody's viewing your channels. Now, and the funny thing now, Dan, is now people are starting to view my channels, and now you come out of the woodwork. Why do you come out of the woodwork? Because other people started questioning you? Isn't that why you went on hiatus, Dan? Because you complained that people started questioning you? How are you getting these figures? People who are actually professionals in trading and marketing are finding it misleading to people who don't have any experience? And maybe that's why we're complaining, Dan? So what do I do? I give you a chance. What's going on here? You could have turned around and said, well, they're telling me to do this, or I'm getting paid to do this. I can, I can, I can understand it. But no, now you're telling me you're going to sue me, or you're going to uh, send me to YouTube, and YouTube this, and YouTube that. You go ahead, and you see these documents over here? And this is one of at least four, four of them. And what, what's in these documents is basically going to put people in jail because whether you know it or not, when the market maker is caught manipulating the market, right, which I can prove with simple math, anybody could understand this, Dan. That's why my viewership is going up, all right? So after you send these guys in here to start questioning me, and try to trap me into something, that's not going to work either. I did not mention you. Your, your friend mentioned you, okay? And then he came back. I'm sorry, I'm not going to withdraw what I said about you. You said I was lying, Dan. You, th that's how this all began. Now, I didn't turn you in. You said I'm lying, I'm making up stuff, and, and all of this stuff. All I said, look at his thumbnail. He says this is going to go up to $1,000. And he works for the Litecoin Foundation. Whether it's in a volunteer basis or not, this is very suspicious. It looks like you're part of a marketing scheme for an exchange and a creator of a coin running a scam. <coughs> All she had to say is, the, 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 you did the, the opposite thing you're supposed to do, Dan. You should have took down your videos and just shut up. But instead... You want to confront the investigator and tell him not to investigate you. The last case that Coinbase lost, it was lost on basis of the information I gave them from Bitcoin Cash. That was me. You, you think these lawyers in New York know anything, every, anything about cryptocurrency? No, they come to me. I'm a nobody. I'm just an average guy. Why do you think I'm an average guy? Why? Because you are? And why do you keep saying defaming your name? I'm telling, I'm not defaming your name. I'm saying you can't be trusted because you said three times Litecoin was going to go to $1,000 in three consecutive years. How does that go on to trust? Defaming you, you defamed yourself. <coughs> if you put something up on a thumbnail, and you stated in the text of your video that it's going up to $1,000 by the end of 2019. And it doesn't. It goes the opposite way. You defamed yourself. I just noticed it. So please, don't compare yourself to me and say we're two average guys. We're not two average guys. Maybe you're an average guy who's trying to get rich being involved in this scam. Or you... Or you so you're so average, you don't know what's going on behind the scenes, what you're taking part of. So don't come here and threaten me that you're going to send me to YouTube or you're going to sue me. 
go the fuck ahead, shut up and sue me, and when I come to court, watch the judge's face when I give him everything. You sit there and watch the judge and jury after they watch your face, watch their face when they take a good look at you after I give them all the information that I have. After I explain exactly who I am. After all, I've been involved in all the investigations, including with the New York Department of Financial Services, who called me down to their office twice. Don't... Maybe you're average, but in this point, I'm, at this point, I'm not average, okay? I'm a six-figure consultant. Don't... Don't try to run this by me that you're going to sue me or threaten me. I heard all of this before. It doesn't scare me in the least. You need to get yourself set straight. Do you understand? You better start looking at the math I showed you and say, Oh, I'm, I apologize. I shouldn't have been involved in this. I didn't know this was going on. Thanks for warning me. That's what's what you should have said. But I guess you're not smart enough to realize that. So you go ahead, you get a lawyer, you get a judge, you get whatever you think you need. You get YouTube, report me to YouTube. I can guarantee you go to YouTube. Let me tell you something, Dan. You know who else tried to get my videos taken down or to get me off? You don't know this person, Dan. His name is John Kukolchak. He's the head of Global Investigations for Coinbase Pro. He tried to get some videos taken down. After, after I talked to YouTube and showed him everything, guess what happened, Dan? Guess what happened? They told him to take a walk. Because everything I state is the truth after they review it. So you go ahead. You go ahead. And go get a lawyer. Go get a lawyer. I'm going to laugh at you in court. I won't even bring a lawyer on this. I'll go to the judge. Hey, look, I'm investigating a scam. This guy seems to be involved in a scam. Here's my evidence. That's it. It's over. So that's all I got to say. You should be apologizing to people and stop insulting them. And say, yes, I have been misleading in the past, but I did not know why. Say something. At least something. I'm not the only one. You know, I got 14,000 views. People, there's more people that agree with me and agree. What do you think these people are attacking you for? They know you're lying. They know you're part of something that they don't like. They know they're part of something that caused them to lose money. Of course nobody's going to like you, whether you're wittingly or unwittingly are participating in it. And I hope it's unwittingly, so at least I have the chance to explain it to you before you suffer the fate of what those guys are going to su suffer. Don't put yourself with them. If you have any brains, Italian to Italian. This is the same speech I used to give my friends when they went to join the mob and I went to school. And then what do I hear a couple years later? Oh, John, you're right. And it's a waste of time for this young generation. You really are lost. So go ahead. Go get your lawyer. Do you want my address? You could serve me. <laughs> go ahead. You'll be wasting your money, plus you'll open up a can of worms for yourself. I'm out.